So I'm just going to walk through um, a feature that I call night mode in Home Assistant. And what it is, it's pretty much a free alarm system and also just peace of mind. So when it's time to head to sleep, no one really wants to walk around all the doors, make sure they're closed, make sure the garages are closed, make sure everything's locked. So I incorporated that all into Home Assistant. Uh, specifically, I use Note Red. And so when we go into night mode, or attempt to go into night mode, it will check to make sure everything's closed and locked. If it is, it will enter into night mode. If it's not, it will tell us what's wrong, and then that way we can remedy it and then try again. So heading into night mode, you got three options. Um, we could either use our cell phones. Um, we can tell our Amazon device to, we just say, good night, and that starts it. Or on my Innovelli switches here, we can press down three times. So that's what I'm going to show because that's the easiest way. So I'm going to try and get a shot of everything so you can kind of see because I purposely have my front door unlocked right now so it should not go into night mode and it should also let us know why it's not going into night mode so as, as you can see my under cabinet lights are currently in a rainbow aurora effect and my Annabelle lights are pulsing blue and if we try to go into night mode. The front door is unlocked. I don't know if you could hear her, but she said the front door is unlocked and the lights are now flashing yellow. It's a little hard to tell. And then also these were flashing yellow too. It only lasts for, I have it set to 10 seconds and then everything goes back to normal. So I'll do it once more. That's now flashing yellow. It kind of looks white on the camera. And then also the under cabinet lighting is flashing yellow. So I went ahead and locked the front door. So now all the conditions should be met to allow the system to go into night mode. So we'll try it again. And what should happen now is um, all the lights should turn off. The under cabinet lighting should go to a solid white. Um, the TV should turn off, the TV backlighting should turn off, the fire should turn off, and then also uh, these switches here should go solid green along with the switch in our room, and then the switches closest to the front door and the garage door down that way will flash red to just give us an indicator that if for whatever reason um, we think about opening the door, uh, it kind of reminds us that we need to first turn it off. And the one thing I will mention up front is turning it on if you have, if we have a lot of lights on, sometimes the lights are a little slow. Um, everything's through Z-Wave, so I think I'm just overloading the Z-Wave network. Um, still trying to work out if I can make that any quicker, but... It just depends on how the network's feeling that night as to how quick everything turns off. So we'll give it a go here. So you heard the Italian guy who is my wife's choice tell us the house is secure and to have a good night. And as you can see, everything turned off. And then also these lights went solid green. And then if we go to the switches closest to the front door, those are flashing red. And then the ones closest to the garage door are also flashing red. And so then the purpose of night mode now, once it's on, is it's still watching all those doors um, the vibration sensors on the windows, the motion sensors. 
So if anything is tripped, um, a couple things then happen. Um, these switches will go red. The switch in our room will go red. Our room light will turn on at about 20%. And then over the Amazon devices, across the whole house, it will broadcast uh, either what's opened or what vibration sensor or motion sensor was tripped. And then it also tells us to grab the handgun. And that's for two reasons. One, hopefully if it really is someone coming in and they hear handgun, that that's enough to scare them away. And also, for our sake, if it does happen and we're kind of woken up from asleep, you're kind of disoriented and confused. So that kind of gives us a heads up to uh, what to do next. And then if we do want to just turn it off, um, it's set to turn off automatically at 6 a.m. every morning. But if we wake up and want to go outside for some reason, we can just hit the config button here. And I don't think you could hear that, but it said night mode is deactivated. And then these will go back to their normal state, which is now pulsing blue. So then you know that night mode is now off and it's safe because also now these are no longer flashing red either so that's what i call night mode um it's definitely what took me th the longest to do um i may shoot a video showing the room showing what happens when something is tripped but i can't do that tonight because my kids sleep in and it will definitely wake her up. So that's it.